Welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide and in this video, we'll compare two similar and yet different robot vacuum slash mop hybrids. I've tested both extensively in various aspects like navigation, power, cleaning performance, mopping, and more to get a bird's eye view of their strengths and weaknesses, what consumer segments these robots fit in, and more. There's a lot to unpack, so let's get into it. The Narwhal Frio and Roomba Combo J7 are their brand's current flagships with the hybrid functionality of a robot vacuum and mop. Both are the first with these features for each brand, but their similarity ends there. The Narwhal Freer and Roomba Combo J7 use different mopping module designs, each with distinct advantages and disadvantages. In some of these, we'll determine which option you'll choose. The Narwhal Freeo utilizes a twin triangular disc system where two pads spin, working in unison to agitate and remove stains. The triangular shape is designed such that the edges overlap, maximizing coverage. It uses a white microfiber cloth with deep naps to maximize absorbency and stain removal. A motor behind the robot spins both discs, which agitates the surface. In their default state, these pads are lifted and then lowered during the mopping-only cycle, and raised again when it climbs over carpet or in vacuum-only mode. Inside the base station are two water tanks for storing clean and dirty water. During the mopping run, there's a pre-soak cycle where the base station releases clean water to saturate the pads before the robot emerges. After each pass, the robot returns to the base station for a pad cleaning cycle so the pad doesn't get too dirty, helping it maintain cleanliness. Narwhal sells the automatic water exchange module to automate the refilling and disposal process, but there's an extra step with installation plus the added cost. The most significant advantage of Narwhal's design is its efficiency in removing stains. It handled even tough-to-mop juice stains without stalling, an issue with robots not having an agitating element. The pad lift feature helps it avoid carpet in theory, but it isn't high enough to avoid the surface completely, so it's not a foolproof system. Fortunately, the Narwhal algorithm is smart enough to avoid carpets during the mopping-only run, which is something I'd recommend consumers use instead of the hybrid function. Another plus is the pad washing feature, keeping the pads clean for longer stretches without removing them, making it a hands-free mopping system. The Roomba Combo J7 utilizes a simpler design with a static pad mounted on two retractable arms that engage or disengage the pad. Since the pads retract, there's no room for a motor, hence it's a static pad without a vibrating element. So this robot only drags a wet pad on the surface. Its biggest advantage is complete pad avoidance on the carpet or rug during the vacuum run because the pad is stored on top, not raised. But with only a stationary pad, it won't be as efficient as a narwhal at removing stains. It was decent during the red wine test but needed two passes to remove the stains, whereas the Narwhal Frio only needed one pass. With sticky juice stains, it stalled and didn't complete the run. The juice stain test shows why the Narwhal Frio is better for mopping. It didn't stall and got most of it out after the first pass. Another potential deciding factor between these products is the base station design. Narwhal's base station is noticeably bulkier since it needs that real estate to fit two 4-liter containers for mopping and pad washing features. However, it doesn't have a self-emptying feature present in a Roomba Combo J7. I like the latest Roomba base station design because of its lower profile without sacrificing bag volume. It even has a slot for an extra bag, which is absent in the INS series options. Both robots have a round frame, which most brands use since it's the most efficient for navigating around cramped spaces. But their similarity ends here. Since the Narwhal Frio uses slider, it has a puck sticking out on top while the Roomba Combo J7 does not. Underneath, you'll even see more differences. The Roomba Combo J7 uses its patented twin extractors and a single side brush. Its mopping pad only comes down during its mopping-only cycle where it sits behind the robot. The Narwhal Frio has a single brush roll design flanked by two side brushes and two discs behind the roller. These discs are a permanent fixture since this robot won't function without them. One advantage of a V-Slam robot like the Combo J7 is it has a flat surface, so it fits under low clearance furniture like this sofa better than the Narwhal Frio, which is taller, so even its body won't fit underneath the same sofa. Another difference is the dustbin placement and capacity. Narwhal's dustbin is top-mounted with a larger capacity of 480 ml. Roomba's dustbin is rear-mounted with a smaller sub-400 ml capacity, which may be irrelevant if you're getting the Plus model since it has a self-emptying feature. While both products are called smart robot vacuums with predictable navigation, their sensors vary. As I've said earlier, 
the Norval Frio relies on LiDAR or laser distance sensor firing laser signals in a 360 degree pattern. There are several advantages. One is it works regardless of lighting conditions since the laser doesn't rely on a light source. It does a better job with coverage and misses fewer spots during experiment than the VSLAM equipped Combo J7 Plus. Like with other LiDAR robots, it starts to run cleaning the edges before moving towards the middle portion in a back and forth pattern. Perhaps the biggest advantage of the Frio is its efficient mapping run, which only took a few minutes since the robot didn't have to go through every nook and cranny. LiDAR's 360 degree scanning ability makes this possible, cutting a huge chunk of time out of creating maps compared to a VSLAM robot. The Ruma Combo J7 Plus also has an efficient navigating pattern, going in back and forth passes mixed with edge cleaning runs. But it wasn't as meticulous and missed more spots. Yes, it was quicker during the coverage test, finishing a two pass run one minute faster than the Narwhal Frio, but I'd give Narwhal the edge since it picked up more. Both options had front sensors for obstacle avoidance. Narwhal uses an IR sensor, while Roomba relies on a front camera and LED. I have not tested the Narwhal's obstacle avoidance extensively because of time constraints, but I did one test using a large stuffed toy. While it turned, the robot still touched the stuffed toy, so it's not a foolproof system. The Roomba Combo J7's algorithm is better since it didn't let the robot get too close and didn't tangle even on stretch wires or pet feces. It's probably the best option at avoiding these high-risk obstacles. Even with smaller toys like my son's Rubik's Cube, it didn't get too close. So it's the better option in this category since it's more consistent at evading obstacles. I tested the airflow for both robots using an anemometer to gauge their vacuuming potential. Since not all manufacturers use the same metric, this is a more accurate way to compare these products. Narwhal says the Frio has 3,000 pascals of suction, while iRobot doesn't disclose any pascal figure. So the only way to compare power figures is by using a repeatable method, which is why I use an anemometer. The Roomba Combo J7 Plus got a 9.8 CFM rating, while the Narwhal Frio was better at over 12 CFM at the highest power setting. Please note that the Combo J7 Plus only has one power setting, and the Frio has four. And there isn't much difference with Narwhal's airflow output in the other settings, but it's lower than the Combo J7. Higher airflow robots will pick up debris at a higher rate, but other factors like brush roll design come into play, which we'll look into next. Looking at the overall scores, the Narwhal Frio did a better job on hard floors, while the Roomba Combo J7 got higher scores on carpet experiments. Narwhal's higher airflow was a significant factor why it was better on hard surfaces. Another is its side brush not spinning as rapidly. It was a few percentage points better at cleaning sand and got more quicker oats during the coverage test. The Roomba Combo J7 Plus was better in all the carpet cleaning experiments, on surface and embedded debris, thanks to the combo brush and dirt detect feature. Its counter-rotating extractors are excellent at agitating and picking up debris, while the dirt detect system signals the robot to do extra passes when it detects more dirt. One telltale sign of Roomba's carpet cleaning chops is its higher deep cleaning scores, more than 20% better than Narwhal. The Narwhal Frio is better during the edge cleaning test because of its two side brushes and higher airflow, picking up more and leaving a cleaner area after a three pass run. The Roomba Combo J7 Plus left noticeably more debris after the experiment because of the weaker airflow and fast speeding side brush scattering more remnants. The Narwhal Frio was also better during the hair wrap experiment picking up a higher percentage overall, 100% with 5-inch and 43% with 7-inch strands. Again, it's because of the higher airflow. The Combo J7 Plus only got 42% on the 5-inch experiment, so I didn't bother doing the 7-inch test. One downside with Narwhal's Combo Brush is hair wrapping tightly on it. You'll need scissors to remove hair wrapping on it. Roomba's extractors are easier to clean since most of the hair will wrap on the axles. Neither of these robots exceeded the 70 decibel mark. The Roomba Combo J7 registered a 66.2 decibel reading, very close to the Narwhal Frio's output of 66 decibels. The Frio is even quieter in its three lower settings, not exceeding 60 decibels. Both options are compatible with smartphone apps, which I recommend downloading to unlock all the features. 
the Frios Bay Station has an LCD screen with access to several app features like the different cleaning modes and settings, but not a map saving or mapping run. And some of these features aren't available in the other and may be deciding factors in selecting between these products. The first one is the live map, only available in the Narwhal Frio app, showing the robot's location in real time during its cleaning run. The shaded parts show the areas the robot has cleaned and it also has a 3D map, showing a three-dimensional perspective of the map. The iRobot and Narwhal apps have mapping runs, but one huge difference is that the Frio app does it much faster since it uses slider and takes advantage of its 360-degree scanning to create maps in a fraction of the time compared to a full run which iRobot utilizes. Both have map saving where the iRobot app can save up to 10 levels, 6 more than a Narwhal app. However, this is irrelevant for me since most homes are either bungalows or have two levels. Another similarity is containment, where both apps enable consumers to draw boxes or rectangles, blocking the robot from venturing into these areas. Our robot calls this keep out zones, Narwhal calls it no go zones. However, only the iRobot app has clean zones, where consumers can have designated clean areas and schedule the robot to vacuum these areas when needed, which is useful in high traffic spots like the living room. The Narwhal app has a similar feature called area cleaning, but these aren't savable. Select room cleaning is also available for cleaning specific rooms on the map. With its live map feature, Narwhal's version is visual, where iRobot only shows a list. Both have a carpet detect feature where the app shades carpeted areas and use this as a reference to avoid them during mopping only cycles. Both can automatically add containment but for different reasons. The Narwhal app can automatically add no-go zones on detected carpet areas, while the iRobot app adds keep out zones on detected obstacles. Lastly is the floor type, only available in the Narwhal app. It enables consumers to select from three different floor types, hard floor, tile, and cobblestone. Each type has a predefined power and mop pressure setting best suited for the surface. Choosing between the Narwhal Frio and Roomba Como J7 Plus will boil down to feature preferences and cleaning needs. Do you prioritize mopping over the self-emptying feature, or you don't want the hassle of emptying the dustbin? The Narwhal Frio is the better option for folks who prioritize mopping over anything else since it's more efficient while the Roomba Combo J7 Plus is better for folks who want the convenience of the self-emptying feature. This is only one example of the deciding factors I was talking about earlier in the video. Look at this carefully before making a decision. If you've made it this far, I'd like to say thank you and give this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you. It goes a long way in growing this channel and reaching more consumers. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new comparisons like this. The links are in the description below for more information about these products. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.